Hey guys, happy Monday. Thank you so much for watching Beyond Science. It's Mikey Chen. There are a couple of really interesting pieces of news that happened last week, and let's talk about it. The first was that researchers from Worcester Polytechnic University have turned a spinach leaf into working heart tissue, otherwise known as a mini working heart. The authors of the study are publishing their findings in research journal Biomaterials, which offers a new way to grow a vascular system in May. And this is crazy huge news because if the use of spinach leaves proved to be a success, then we've pretty much found a way to use plants to create working human heart muscles. I mean, for the longest time, we've all watched Popeye turn spinach into muscles, and for the first time, we will be able to do it as well. And until now, scientists have tried a bunch of techniques, including 3D printing, to recreating the blood vessel networks, but all their techniques ended up in failure. And the reason for the lack of success is the lack of vascular network. Without that vascular network, all you would really get are a bunch of dead tissues. So thankfully, researchers realized that certain plants could possibly do the job because of their delicacy and already available vascular system. Although plant and animal bodies are quite different, their networks of capillaries are actually quite similar. If you think about the defining traits of a leaf, it has a network of thin veins that delivers water and nutrients to all its cells. By looking at plain veins, researchers had the brilliant idea of using the veins to replicate how blood moves through human tissue. And here's how they actually made it work. First, they took a spinach leaf and modified it in the lab to remove all its plant cells so that the leaf appeared almost transparent, leaving behind a framework made of cellulose. After that, the frame was bathed in human cells so that human tissue was able to grow on it and create a tiny heart. Once the tiny heart was created, scientists sent fluids and microbeads through the heart's veins to prove that the blood cells are capable of flowing through the spinach leaf system. And by using spinach leaves, the researchers were able to obtain enough tissue to start treating injuries. And according to Joshua Gershlak, a researcher at Worcester Polytechnic, we have this very thin flat piece of tissue that already has a vascular network in there. And so we should be able to potentially stack up multiple leaves and create a piece of cardiac tissue. With the tissue, victims of things like heart attacks would be given new layers of heart muscle, which is absolutely revolutionary. For example, in the case of patients who have had heart attacks in the past, part of their heart no longer contract. So if these spinach leaves were able to be used as working heart tissue, then they can create new contractile muscles that will replace the dead tissue in the heart. Although this is already huge news, this is just the first step of repairing the body. And according to study co-author Glenn Goddard, he says that spinach is one of many plants that could possibly fix different tissues in the body. For example, swapping out the cells in wood could possibly allow us to fix our bones. This all sounds remarkable remarkable, and maybe in the future we'll have a bunch of Groots walking around. Next up, this news piece is just incredible. Some people, you know, practice an instrument for their entire lives in order to become well-known or even recognizable musicians. But this man, however, was just living a normal life, having an ordinary day, when suddenly he was given insane piano playing skills. By who? No one knows. By life, it seems. Derek Amato is a man from Denver, Colorado, who in October of 2006 dove into a shallow pool while at a friend's party and hit his head really hard. After he was sent to the hospital, doctors found that he had a permanent 35% loss of hearing as well as memory loss. But unlike others who recovered and moved on with their lives, Amato's life was never the same again. After he woke up from his accident, Amato acquired something magnificent, the ability to play the piano like a musical prodigy. When he looked at any piano keys, he could see black and white squares in his head that triggered his fingers to move. Move. He said, when those black and white squares are going, that's what my hands do. I'm convinced it's all for a reason, and it's my job to do it right. Amato is one of around 30 people in the world who suffer from the same syndrome called acquired savant syndrome. This is when people show certain abilities after they experienced head trauma. So far, researchers have no idea why this happens, but it is possible that such a dormant potential actually lies within all of us, but doesn't know how to surface itself unless the brain is triggered in some way, such as a traumatic accident. And Amato's story is really incredible because he was homeless in 2002 after losing everything on a business investment. As a result, he slept in his car at rest stops for three months while looking for a job. Although he was able to find a postal office job after months of living without a home, his accident, although painful, really saved him from his financial burden. After his concussion, Amato was able to embark on a lifelong music career and can now play eight instruments. In fact, he's already on the road to recording his second album. Amato did actually know 
how to play the guitar before the accident, but his skills were probably subpar at best because he rated himself a 2.5 out of 10 in terms of guitar skill level. He's never had a single music lesson in his life either, so now I'm wondering if I actually just go and jump into a shallow pool somewhere. But guys, these kind of phenomena are extremely mysterious and remarkable because we talked a lot on this channel about people who wake up from comas or accidents and be able to speak an entirely different language that they never spoke before. And I know I've said this in previous videos, but I'll mention it again here are my two theories on why this phenomenon happens. The first is that the human brain is so mysterious and it's so incredible that everything we see or we encounter in life, although we don't actively remember it, our brain soaks it up. So maybe every language we've ever heard, everything we've read, every single concert we went to, we soak everything up and don't forget a thing. And then one day something happens and it triggers something in the brain that allows something that used to be hidden to come onto the surface. This might also explain why people remember things so much better under hypnosis, even past lives. So speaking of past lives, my other theory is that if you believe in past lives, then it's not like we've only lived in one country or one particular ethnic group. We would have lived all around the world, spoken different languages, have had different skill sets. So maybe again, something happened, we go into a coma, we have an accident, and we knock our head and that allows us to access memories from a past life. So maybe a model previously was Beethoven, who knows? Anyway, those are my two theories, but let me know in the comments below, why do you think these things happen? Also, let me ask you guys, if you could live forever, you could live forever, but you look like Groot and every time you die, your family would have to like plant you again in a little pot until you grow up to be like a tree. If you had to look like that and go through all that, but you could live forever, would you do it? Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.